Sexually transmitted infections are on the rise and also show no signs of slowing down. What? Don't ever think this problem is not for you. First off, I know there's a lot of people. I heard one guy say, well, several men say, well, I didn't already lick the, lick the pussy, so why is it a problem for me to stick it raw? Whatever she had, I didn't call it. First off, that was your fault. Two, people have herpes on their lips. So if she's sucking you or you sucking her, y'all probably already changing some kind of inflammation that leads to some kind of STI or STD. All I'm saying is y'all need to buckle up for real. there were two and a half million cases of chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis. The most significant rise was in syphilis and congenital syphilis, which occurs when mothers with the infection pass it along to their babies during pregnancy. From 2020 to 2021, from 2020 to 2021, cases of each went up 32%. Now, the past decade, there's been about an eight-fold increase in the cases of congenital syphilis in the United States. In 2012, the numbers were at historic lows thanks to robust contact tracing and public health efforts, but infections have gone up every year since. And syphilis in babies is much more serious than in adults, carrying a risk of stillbirth and long-term health problems. Hey, Samantha, yeah, good afternoon. We're seeing about 2.5 million cases of, of chlamydia, of gonorrhea, and syphilis combined. Um, that is up from last year, and it's continuing to rise. It's up about 7% over the last five years. And Savannah, the one we're really worried about here is, is syphilis. Um, syphilis is it's, a, it's an STI that can actually cause, you know, if you, if you get this during pregnancy, it could cause your baby to be born stillborn or, or dead. Um, and it's an entirely preventable disease with something called penicillin, a common antibiotic. And looking at why, why are cases rising there's a couple things that experts are pointing to you know the first is decrease in condom use among among uh, people who are sexually active uh, the other thing is the rise in, in substance abuse right now kind of linked towards that behavior and the last you know lack of access to health care and lack of access to education about about how to have safe sex how to prevent these stis from occurring in the first place Savannah. so attacking to the cdc you know that's the one that's really most disturbing to them right now that rise in syphilis but when, well, a, a couple things you know i think the first and, and one of the most important is really reducing the stigma around these diseases, being able to go to your doctor's office and just talk to them about this stuff, I think that can go a long way. But, you know, in talking to some experts who track this stuff for a Just like you do a COVID test, um, maybe on Amazon.com you get a test. test.